Alright guys, I'm revisiting this um, horse-drawn plow here. Syracuse plow, made in Syracuse, New York. Picked it up about a month ago or so. Posted a video, you guys might have saw it. Um, but anyway, um, I want to uh, I want to finish it, give it a paint job, and uh, more importantly, I want to put two handles on it. As you've seen in the picture, it should have two handles in the back, which the man walking behind the plow would use to control and uh, steer the plow as the, uh, the horse was hooked up here, would be pulling the plow. All right, so uh, handles are going to be approximately uh, four to five feet long is what I measured. And uh, because they go all the way down inside here, handle goes all the way down in there. See this one here? Okay, the remaining rusty bolt down there. That goes through the bolt handles down there. Then one's bolted here and one's bolted here. And then they come up toward what would be the man driving it. And these two handles here, they go down, one on each side, and attach to the handles. So, uh, it's a really nice design. And uh, once they're all bolted on, uh, it's going to be very sturdy. Now, originally, of course, they probably use oak or more than likely hickory for these handles. I don't have either available, so I'm just making them out of pine. And use a uh, two by ten um, pine uh, plank, and I'm going to make these. And uh, I'm going to use the as inspiration for the handles and measuring. I'm going to use one of my favorite tractors of all time. Yes, sir, my David Bradley. This is the last David Bradley on the premises. Well, I have another one that's a planter, but this is the last complete David Bradley. Has no engine in it. So, um, the handles on a David Bradley are designed and angled almost exactly perfectly the same as the, uh, the horse drawing. In this case, the David Bradley is the horse, but it's basically the same exact idea. This David Bradley is a perfect example of, of a combustion engine replacing the horse. Never thought of it, but as a perfect, perfect example. The man would walk behind that plow hooked up to a horse, I walked behind that plow, hooked up to a David Bradley, it's exactly the same. So uh, David Bradley and other walk behind tractors were really uh, the, uh, the last nail in the coffin for the horse. And um, But anyway, these handles, I'm going to use them as a pattern uh, to get the right angle and it uh, should work out perfect. And um, so I'm going to be ripping that wood down and uh, curving it and uh, hopefully I'll have that done and uh, fastened on next video and then we'll be uh, staining the wood uh, and or painting it, I'm not sure yet and uh, making that plow look uh, presentable again alright, so that's what I'm doing here today and tomorrow probably because it is so darn wet here you can't even think about mowing a lawn We've had terrible, terrible thunderstorms and torrential downpours, and I've got water on my lawn in places where I'd never, ever had it on my lawn. 35 years living here, my lawn is just a bunch of puddles. I'll tell you, I'm waiting for my tractors to start sinking. It's just incredible. But uh, and it's raining right now as I speak. It is raining. Unbelievable. So that's why I'm switching gears. Got the table saw out in the shed. And um, got the wood ready, so I'm going to be ripping down those handles. So stay tuned for the next video, and uh, you'll see the handles mounted onto this plow. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as always, uh, feel free to comment. I appreciate any advice or uh, information you have on this plow. Thank you. Book them, Daniel.